Okay, so I just got dropped off from a taxi cab. I came from downtown Liverpool, and I'm coming to the Casbah Coffee Club. It's established in 1959 in a meeting with Rogue Best, Pete Best's brother. Pete Best was the original drummer for the Beatles. So let's go see what he has in sight here. Look at these gates. It's beautiful, beautiful little place here. It took us like quite a while to get here. And it's pretty interesting. Look at this beautiful old place I'm at. Beautiful yard, all these planters. I mean, this is on the outskirts of Liverpool here in England. And it's pretty interesting. I mean, it feels magical here. Go up these stairs here. Come on, come on. Hello, hello. hello. Hey. Hi. Welcome to the Casbah. Ah, welcome, welcome. Fantastic. And what's oh, your name? Right. My name's Lee. Lee. I'm married to Rogue. Rogue, excellent. You're Lee Best. I am, thank All you. All right. <laughs> I'm going to come this way. In the good old days. Oh, look at this little door. We used to come up the stairs to the big special family parties after the shows. Okay. So if you go down that way and... Um, and this was the coffee club? In the cellar. In the cellar. Yep, this is the first floor of the home. Huh. So this is where the chosen few, including Peace and the rest of the Beatles, would come up to party. No kidding. Mm -hmm. So John Lennon was here? They were all here. Paul they McCartney was here. here. Fantastic. They painted them up. Go and have a look. The this is one. great. Let's go down the little door as we go through. Okay, I'm here with Rogue Best. Rogue, so good to see you. Daniel, nice to meet you, man. And Rogue just gave me a tour downstairs. It's absolutely amazing here at the Casbah. And this is where the Beatles really started, correct? It all began here. The band, the boys coming together was here at the Casbah. If you read the books, it gives you the impression that John, Paul and George are still hanging out together and whatnot, and, and they weren't. John and Paul were doing their thing. George had already gone off. He was playing for a different group called the Les Stewart Quartet. There was actually another group before the Les Stewart Quartet. And through, a, I don't know, just different circumstances, the Les Stewart Quartet were the original band that had been booked to open the Casbah. They split up leaving uh, George and a guy called Ken Brown, who came and saw my mother, asked if they could open the place as a duo. She said, no way, I don't want a duo, I want a rock and roll band. Um, Ken saying to her, oh, come on, please, we can do this. And she said, well, if you've got a rock and roll band. Um, and George basically said, I I've got a couple of friends. They're not doing anything. I'll, I I'll get in touch with them. And um, they come back the next day, and those two friends happened to be John Lennon and Paul McCartney. So through this Casbah happening, it brought John, Paul and George back together. Uh, John brings Stuart into the equation, of course, the original bass player. And who's here at the Casbah is Pete. So the five original Beatles are all at the same place at the same time, making those friendships which led to the band coming together. And just so, if you don't know, Pete Best, this gentleman's brother, was the original drummer for the Beatles. Yeah. And I'm going to yeah. get a picture signed by him before I leave here. I'd love to purchase okay. one of those. Okay. That would be great. Yeah. And you've been running this place, showing tours for how long? Um, the Casbah was basically opened again about 10 years ago, but we weren't really pushing it that hard because we were never here. We were touring all the time. Um, myself and Pete were spending six, seven months out of the country so that people were getting in touch saying, hey, can we do a Casbah tour? Well, no, because there's nobody there. Um, and then um, about four years ago, um, Pete said, listen, I don't want to spend that amount of time touring anymore. I'm going to pull the whole thing back. Um, and at the time, that was a blow. That was a blow. I was thinking, Jesus, what am I going to... Where's, where's my income going to come from? You know? Um, so uh, Pete said, listen, the way I'm going to do it from now on, I'm just going to pick maybe one, two shows a month. We'll fly in, do that. We'll fly back. That's it. That's all I want to do. As it's turned out, after the initial shock, it's turned out to be really cool. It's turned out to be really cool. And um, But then it was... 
hey, I've got this time. Now I'll concentrate on the Casbah. And uh, so we did. Um, and during that time, we quickly became Liverpool's uh, number one Beatles attraction. We still hold that prestigious place. And, um, you know, and it's, and it's nice to um, shake it up and turn people's heads around and, and switch them on to how it really went down, how it really happened and how the biggest band in popular music history really got their stars. Right here, right here, the Beatles played how many times? 13 times as the Quarrymen, preempting the Beatles, 76 times as the Beatles. 76 times, and it's in a basement which was uh, put together, kind of makeshift coffee house by your mom. Yeah, yeah. By your mom. Imagine that. My dad actually was my brother's manager in his band too. So I have a whole family full of musicians also. We just love music and grew up with it. And used to rehearse in our basement. Yeah. Which is the coolest thing in the world. And you know, Ro just showed me downstairs where John Lennon had carved his name and uh, all of the Beatles had painted the ceiling and the stars. And you have some prestige going on where you're connected with some other place of rock and roll, correct? Sun Studios. Liverpool and Memphis gets twinned together because of its musical heritage. And basically the two cities are like, they're twinning BB Kings with the Cavern Club. They're twinning this with such and such a place. And we get twinned with Sun Studios. Uh -huh. Reason being, Sun is where Elvis began. The Casbah, I keep saying this, you know, because I can't push it home hard enough, is truly where the Beatles began, which is why that twinning came about. This is great. So this was Rogue Best, not just just known for being the original drummer of the Beatles' brother, Pete Best, but Rogue himself does things, gets things done. And, you know, you believe in your dream. I believe in my dreams. I put some things together. And, you know, you out there, believe in your dreams and put it together and do it, right? Rogue Best and Daniel Hartwell, dream chasers. Fantastic. And we got them.